Hello, I'm Dr. Emily Hill. I work at Iowa Specialty and I work with the Gabrielson Clinic for Women. I've been here for nine years now. It's really flown by, but a long, a long, long time working with uh, women, pregnant women, female adolescents. Um, and prior to my nine years here, I did my residency in Ohio. I have four boys, ages four, six, and twins that are 10, uh, so that keeps me busy outside of work. So, well, thank you for meeting with us, Dr. Hill. Um, what do you tell your patients about getting the COVID vaccine while pregnant? That's a great question. While we are so lucky now that the Pfizer vaccination has been fully FDA approved, it was I'm not gonna say I wasn't a little hesitant when we first came out with the vaccinations against COVID because pregnancy is a very sensitive time for women and um, know, knowing that you're growing your baby, um, you just have a lot of thought to what you're going to put inside your body. Um, there've been uh, reports now and they've been giving vaccinations to pregnant women. The American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology Society for maternal fetal medicine and the CDC all recommend and are advocates for women receiving it while they're pregnant. So I am definitely in agreement with them. I do feel like getting the COVID in a serious um, way, getting seriously ill with COVID is not a high chance. However, um, if you were to get uh, COVID in pregnancy, you have a much higher chance than a woman that's not pregnant to have a more serious illness. So it does have a lot of um, complications possibly involved with that, including preterm labor. Um, they are looking at possibly preeclampsia being increased with COVID infection. Um, now, as far as uh, side effects of the COVID vaccination, they don't see any uh, different side effects in pregnant women compared with non-pregnant women. Um, the risk of anaphylaxis and other things are very rare. We're talking two to five people per one million people. So those risks are rare. So I find overall it is definitely um, advisable to receive the vaccination if you're eligible. Um, with the vaccination, um, we've had a lot of talk that it causes for a woman to become sterile. What are your thoughts on that? Well, that definitely has never been proven. There's no scientific evidence showing that the COVID vaccination can cause sterility. And thank goodness, all the vaccines that we use in America, there's none that cause sterility. Um, so those are great, great things. The mechanism of action of the COVID vaccine, um, everything about it, there's, there's absolutely no evidence about it. Um, most recent information that we've seen is a baby that was born with immunities from the mother that was vaccinated. Um, do you think we'll see more testing on that? And what are your thoughts with that? Yeah, I think it's a wonderful, uh, wonderful thing. We know other vaccinations that we give in pregnancy routinely, like the Tdap. Uh, the reason for that is actually so women provide that immunity to pertussis to their uh, infant until their infant's able to get vaccinated. And so we would imagine that the COVID vaccine behaves in a very similar way um, and possibly the, the antibodies last about the same amount as they do in our bodies. They're thinking anywhere from six to eight months. So um, I think it's great. I think they will look more at that in the future. I think we're gonna know even more in another six months. So, yes. Wonderful. Well, you know, I appreciate your time today. Um, would you like to share any final thoughts on the vaccination um, with your moms? How, you know, maybe just kind of, how is it going in your clinic? And, you know, are your moms being receptive to everything? And Yeah, I'd say we definitely have women that have received the COVID vaccination with no issue. Now in our Gableson Clinic for Women, um, our clinics, we don't have the vaccination, but we direct them to the hospital or to where they need to go for that. Um, but I would say definitely overall receiving the vaccination hasn't been an issue for our patients. And unfortunately for women that have become infected with the COVID, um, with COVID, excuse me, um, that there sometimes can be serious illness with that and hospitalization and 
um, I definitely think that the uh, short-lasting side effects of the vaccination are much more desirable than falling ill to COVID. Wonderful. Well, thank you for your time. Thank I you. Appreciate it.